Hello, we're going to be having a quick look at the demo for Ride, a game, a motorbike game that's going to be coming out in a couple, in a couple weeks, a week and a half, a week and a half, a couple weeks, somewhere along those lines. I'm interested to try this because I've never played a racing game with the PS4 controller, so I'm interested to see how good it feels to play a racing game with the PS4 controller. Let's have a look, see, a quick look, see what we're getting into here. Right. I like to ride my bicycle. I like to ride my bike. I like to sit at loading screens. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, loading times are a bit long, but that's probably because I'm used to PC loading times. So, there is a character model there. Should we wait for the camera to spin around so we can have a look at him and see how bad or good he looks? Because normally in racing games, character models are terrible. But he doesn't look too bad. He looks pretty good, actually. At least from the back. So, let's just go quick mode. I believe there's three vehicles. But there's only one one race. Uh, three bikes, I should say. Here you go. So you've got like a, a... A super bike, a super sport, and a roadster. Okay. We'll go with this, because it looks the nicest. And it's a Honda. There is only one track. Sierra Nevada. A decent amount of tracks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Is there fourteen or fifteen? I thought I heard fifteen. My counting is terrible. North Wales! Welcome to Wales! Wales. I'm Welsh, I am. Okay. So, normally, I'm pretty terrible at bike games because they obviously handle very differently to cars. So it's a very it's a very different beast. The handling is let's just say it, the handling's heavy. You got to break a lot in the corners, otherwise you just go flying off the edge and die. Hopefully. You know, every game now has like a day one patch, so maybe there'll be like a day one patch where the loading times are cut down because the loading times are pretty bad. Confirm. And another loading screen, okay. You confirmed that you want another loading screen. Here we go. Oh. Everything loads in. Is that me? I'm stone. I'm stone cold killer. Uh, bike settings. Suspension and gears. Okay, you can change that. Race options. You can change the laps to how many? You can do 10. Very easy. Let's put it to easy. There's a rewind option like every racing game ever. Physics, auto brakes, no. I don't know why I'd want that on. Activate or deactivate joint brake control. With this option, you won't have to worry about manual control of the rear brake. Uh, I, I didn't even know that was a thing. Apparently it is. We'll turn that off as well. Choose over to see the ideal trajectory. Yeah, we'll keep that. And we'll do five laps. Where am I on the starting grid? I am eight. Okay. Let's do this. Let's race. Graphics are pretty nice, actually. With nice reflections. Wacky, waving, inflatable arm, tube man. 
Okay, is there a cockpit view? And by cockpit view, I mean, you know, handlebar view. As you can see, ah, the motorbikes are heavy. Very heavy. You can look behind you. Feels like I'm playing like Forza Motorsport, but bike edition. There's a dam. Oh, okay, that's the rewind feature. How do I change camera angle? Can I change camera angle? Whoa, I just changed something. High, medium, I have no idea what that means. Is that, is that traction? Traction control? I don't know. Oh god. It normally takes me a few laps to get used to the handling of bikes. It's nice to see a bike game where you're not just going around, you know, normal circuits. You know, you've got some interesting tracks here. And I am dead. I'm very dead. Some nice spark effects coming off the bike there. You gotta turn and break early. I probably should have kept it on very easy. The graphics are appealing. Whether they're detailed or not. It's hard to tell in a racing game because you're going by stuff at speed. But they look nice as you're going past. Wacky waving inflatable arm shooting tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flaming tube man. Hey guys, could you wait up? Is there a way to change camera? Let's pause the game and have a look. Uh, I don't know. I guess not. There's a free camera. Oh, okay, that's cool. A lot of people enjoy stuff like this, and I can see why. Look at those eyes. They're dead. Look at the textures. Blurry. Let's go. Oh, uh-oh. No, don't do that. That's bad. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ah. Ah. Okay. So, yes, yeah, the touchpad is how you change. Okay. I should have played this before I did this video. And got a feel for the bikes. Oh god. I'm going to throw up. Holy shit. The problem with bikes though. And I'm not I'm not really sure because I'm not I'm like an expert on bike racing games. Is how differently do bikes feel? How different how differently do different bikes feel? Oh that's cool, we got a Helmet cam. Nothing in that. Okay. That one tells me I shouldn't have gone for the like extremely high powered motorbike first. Should have gone for something a little more tame. People who are experts at motorbike, and motorbike racing games are cringing right now. So far, seems pretty good. Now I'm not sure how many motorbike racing games have tracks where you're actually not in like a circuit, you know. 
So that could be a uh, a uh, you know a unique a unique thing of the game. Don't crash. I am. Um, I wonder why I'm not a motorbike racer. Oh, I broke. I brake too hard. I wonder why they said to keep the brakes on for, for the automatic brakes. Like you, sh you, you don't want to turn this off. Like I'll, I'll be fine. No, you, you don't want to turn this off. Hey, I've only died three times. No, oh, there seems to be like an invisible wall there, or is that just me? How did I ever qualify for this? There seems to be a decent amount of like invisible wall -iness in terms of there's like an invisible wall on the barriers. Why keep waving inflatable arm flaming tube man? Why keep waving inflatable arm flaming tube man? Why keep waving inflatable arm flaming tube man? Ah, let's go full frontal. Oh bollocks! I'm dead again. The helmet, the top of the helmet, seems a bit jaggedy. The lines don't help. The problem is that I'm trying to play it like a, a car game. A car racing game. I've got to get into the head of a motorcyclist. Oh Jesus. I'm dead again. The mirrors, the frame rate in the mirrors looks a bit weird. There's an a, it, it, there's a, a big invisible wall there. There's a reason why these bikes don't go on these types of roads. I'm going to die again. I'm dead. I am bad at this. Racing ga Racing games used to be my thing when I was a lot younger. I'll have to do more. One more lap. The problem racing games is that they're not the most interesting thing to watch. I think... I've kind of gone off racing games slightly because... I think everyone goes through a stage in their video game life, if you want to put it like that, where they play racing games for a few years. And they really love it, but then after that... You know, it gets stale. So they never pick it up again.
I'm even more interested in super arcadey style racing games or incredibly like to the T realism. Uh, there's a huge invisible wall there. I do not like that. You cannot cut that corner at all. The helmet view is fun though. Morpheus, anyone? And then everyone vomits. I feel like a games critique because aren't all games critique like really bad at video games? It's fun though. I see why people get into it. Like, yeah, I've got my corners. It's going all smooth. You come last. <laughs> yeah. Stone Cold Killer is not happy. Honda fan. Well, we'll try one more. We'll try a uh, a different a different bike. We'll try the more roadstery bike. Yeah, I used to play racing games a lot, but that was when I was a lot younger. I started to go off of racing games about fours of Motorsport Four. I would say that's when I started to drift away. But I have played stuff like Grid 2, and uh, other than that, uh, Motorstorm Apocalypse, that, that's great. But that's, like I said, that's like an arc more arcadey. You know, it's got like the destruction and the apocalypse in it. Okay, we'll try this now. So this has a 7 handling, that has a 7.7, .7, and this has a 6.7. It's British. We're gonna be British. We're gonna go British. We'll do. We'll put it on very easy. Uh, tuck in. I don't really know what any of this does. I am not a biker. I do not know any of this. I don't even know if. I think I can ride a bike, actually. My dad rode a bike. And, um. There's a reason why he doesn't ride a bike anymore. He crashed it a lot. It's a triumph. Britain. We're a triumph. Britain. Yeah. Loading times are long. Very long. The music's pretty, you know, kind of bog standard for a racing game. I think racing games it helps a lot if it has a good soundtrack. There's no doubt. I think that's why I love Grand Turismo 4 so much. So we, you confirm into a loading screen. <laughs> that's strange. I confirm to confirm. Stone Cold Killer is back. That looks like he's got eyes. The, the bike looks like he's got eyes. Looks like a bumblebee. Alright. Okay. Seems to have good details on the, uh, I guess, the cockpit view. I guess. The handlebar view, whatever you want to call it. Oh, box. I'm dead again. God damn it. So 
the game has about 14 or 15 tracks. I don't know if that's enough. That doesn't sound like a lot, really, does it? Maybe there's variants on tracks. Maybe there's unlockable tracks, I don't know. I thought it said there were 15 locations. Can you tell we're on very easy? We can actually catch up. Oh, I'm very sorry. I mean, it just kind of handles better, but it's also a bit slower. That probably is why. It's more manageable. And it's in kilometers an hour. Wait a minute, it's in kilometers an hour. We must change that. You, do you call, we cannot ride, we cannot ride a British bike without having it to miles per hour. Yeah, there we go. Oh, bollocks. Now we're in Britain. I don't know. I hate kilometers an hour. It confuses the fuck out of me. Just use miles per hour. It's better. It's more accurate. The races, at least to me, they feel the races, well, at least on this track, feel quite long. The laps are about two minutes each, did that say? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's like people's a lot. What makes a racing game is how memorable the tracks are because there's always like tracks where you're like Oh, I love that corner. That corner's a bit. Oh, I love that section. That section when you do it perfectly. It feels amazing I'm not sure if this game has that or not. So it's hard. You know, it's hard to tell from just a demo Because it only has one track And this track doesn't seem Seems alright, the track's alright, doesn't seem bad apart from like the invisible wall. I mean the scenery's nice, that helps. Shadows look nice, I guess. I don't know. Why keep waving and flailing around, flaming tube, man? Yeah, these bikes don't go insanely fast. They go pretty fast. About 140 miles an hour. But not like 200. Looks a bit like GTA 5. GTA 5. Ride edition. Oh. Yeah, you can feel that when you go around that corner. You can feel... You can feel the grip on the back wheel just completely coming off. So I think this is going to be like a full price game. On PC it's £30. There's a demo on PC. I just wanted to check out the PS4 version because of the want to try the controller out. Controller feels good. 
triggers are nice. Um, I loved most on Apocalypse. The only problem with it was the controller. The controller was not super pleasant for racing games. Um, because of the triggers. The triggers are really slippery. Uh, but the PS4 controller is good for that. No problem at all, really. I prefer the PS4 controller to the Xbox 360 or, or the PS3 controller. And we won because we're on easy. Yay! So that was a quick look at ride, uh, the track, and a couple of bikes. Um, Congratulations! You've just earned your first credits. Yay! Spend credits on your bike to make it more powerful and buy yeah. accessories, or invest in the purchase of a new model. A new model. More bikes. More lights. More handlebars. More handlebar mustaches. <laughs> so, that was right. Uh, seems like, like I said, I don't, I don't know how many racing games, or motorbike racing games. I mean, you've got like MotoGP, but that's all on like, you know, motor, motor circuits. So, it's kind of interesting to see a motorbike game with, you know, you know, off, you know, like road tracks. So that's cool. That's different. So, that is it. The graphically looks pretty decent. Uh, you know, the character models don't look awful, which is surprising for a racing game. They look a bit maybe cartoony. Uh, the bikes, reflections look nice, lighting's nice. Uh, Seems alright. I can't really see anything wrong with it. Um, my only worry is, is how many tracks there are. You know, how much content there is here. Is there an online? There is. There's a world tour on an online. Okay then. We'll see. We'll see how it does when it comes out in a week and a half. Um, like I said, I'm not an expert on these games, so... Take my opinion as someone who doesn't play these race, play, play motorbike racing games, uh, well at all really. But it seems all right. Seems pretty cool. Cockpit views nice. Helmet cams nice. You feel like you're going fast. You can feel like the handling, the the, the traction and the grip on the wheels. Good op good amount of options. Uh, so yeah, from a basic. Point of view seems pretty good.